welcome to another game tutorial in this tutorial we'll be learning how to use prospective clone tool in GIMP friends as you can see I have already imported an image and this image size wise it is not a standard size the height of this image is relatively um, low compared to standard size image so if you want to create a standard size image in that case we need to extend um, the height area and in that case the clone uh, prospective clone tone can help us to heal the extended uh, area of the image you will understand it better as we progress so first I am going to create a new image and I am going to give a standard size 1920 by 1280 right so we have got a new image here so what we'll be doing uh, we are now going to copy this image and paste it here as a new layer right so obviously we can fit this image into this image if we zoom out but that's not what we want we want exactly the same image into the new image so we are going to resize this image um, sorry we are going to rescale this image using rescale tool and we are going to put it in the center somewhere okay now we are going to centering it right so now we are going to merge this layer with the bottom one okay now we are zooming out right so now as you can see we have um, this part white because the background was white and we need to fill these areas white areas using prospective clone tool right, so now we are going to activate the prospective clone tool to fill up these extra areas so to do that click on this little icon and then at first we are going to use modify perspective and then um, it's basic um, if you are accustomed to any brass tool here um, then it is pretty much the same but there is just one thing I want to um, uh, tell you is that the alignment and here you can use different alignment according to your preference um, so and in, in this case I am just using none uh, because of this image but you can use other alignment options depending on the image you are working on and don't worry about all these other settings here so and also um, you can use different brush and you can work on the hardness and and um, other settings here so we click on this a uh, box a uh, modify perspective and then click on the image so that we got a box here and then we can adjust it like this uh, because we are going to take pixels just from here not from the entire image okay and then um, we'll be copying pixel from this area and we'll be brushing over this white area right so now we are going to switch into perspective clone and then zoom out okay and then um, we copy the pixel from here to do that command press command and click on this area or wherever you want and then we just paint over these areas
pixel from here and then fill up this area. Okay, so we have done with the bottom part. So friends, now we are going to fill up the top part. So similarly, we are now switching to modify perspective and then we are going to copy the pixels from here and then we switch again to perspective clone we then take the pixels from adjusting the brush size from here sorry similarly we, we press command and take pixels from here and then brush over this area Let's have a close look. I think it's fine. But you can take time to paint around it. As you can see, the extra part of the image has been filled up properly. Um, to get a better result, it's always um, advisable to spend more time to get the accurate result. But I just wanted to show you how to fill up additional part of an image using the pixel from the same image. So friends, I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.